Okay, it's been a while since I've done a video. And this one, I'm quite disappointed. Now, a bit of background. I used to be a Jehovah's Witness about 12 years ago. Left it um, about a year later. But I've always missed certain aspects and I've had no issues. I've actually defended them a lot. So anyway, for the last month I've been going for a walk in the park and they have one of these carts set up. You know those carts they've got nowadays to catch people walking past since so many people aren't at home. And I've been stopping off and chatting to them daily and so forth. And I thought, what the hell, nothing better to do. And I'll start a study. And one was set up and it just felt wrong. I had this big issue, big, big issue with any organisation, any group, any religious group saying that they're the only ones that serve God and because reality is you know, God's the one that actually determines that, not us. And also the whole child abuse cover-up thing. Now I had a study, a couple of days later I ran into the guy actually I studied with. He was at the cart with another guy. And I said, you know, I just can't do it. No, I just don't, I believe that they serve man. So, you know, got a bit heated, back and forth. And the guy he was with, other asshole. He actually inferred that adult survivors of child abuse who have left and have reported it, they've got their own agenda. You know, they probably are lying about it. And he even blamed the parents for not going to the police, even though the elders are t told to tell the parents to leave it in the hands of the organisation. So I lost it and walked off. Now the next day, I sent a message also my, um, afterwards to the guy I was studying with and to the guy who arranged the study to... Um, you know, I wasn't going to do it anymore because I believe that they serve man. Because any criticism you know, is not accepted. And they have such a blind faith. You know, they just would rather ignore the facts. So the next day, I um, walked past and a couple of ladies that were there a lot. They told me they're if they are there every Tuesday and Thursday. The cart's there six days a week. So I'm having a chat and I'm telling them that, um, you know, I wasn't happy. I'm not doing my study anymore. The whole issue with the child abuse cover-up. Because the day before the guy who I studied with told me to, you know, look up the uh, 2013 Commission of Child Abuse in the Witnesses. Um, I actually found another report. 2015 it was the investigation was done July August 2015 two victims 11 witnesses I think and um, over a thousand reports from the organization of child abuse now the report came out last November and it wasn't very nice to the witnesses it said that basically it's very kid unfriendly, very victim unfriendly, that you know, they're, what it boils down to is that they're more interested in covering it up than they are in dealing with it. So, anyway, the next day I go to the, um, it's here, next day I'm chatting to these ladies. Nice ladies, very patient, one of them's extremely patient, very nice, and the guy who arranged the study comes storming up. You know, all gangbusters. And he tells me not to talk to the sisters about the governing body. And that upset me a lot. Um, 
you know, because it's like, well, you don't tell me what, you know, you can't tell me what I can say or who I can talk to. And I was pretty upset, so I walked off. Sent him a message later. Um, you know, the usual shit about, you know, what well, am I going to get shunned now? And, you know, what, any males going to be there, whatever. Now, this is on Friday. No cart there Saturday. No cart there yesterday, which is Sunday. And no cart there today. And I'm very disappointed. Because it's like, if you got nothing to hide, if the truth will set you free, why won't they allow it? Why can't you criticise a group of men who, at one hand, they say are imperfect, they make mistakes. God will, you know, handle things when the time comes. And yet, at the same time, so much is hidden. People don't know about the lawsuit back in 2010, where these 10 to 12 million dollars was won by a victim of child abuse who used to be a witness. Their judgment was in her favour. Most witnesses don't know that. Elders have left because of how things have been handled. You know, so many people are suffering and I'm disappointed in the witnesses because I used to think that, yeah, I mean, yeah, they've been, they're pretty good. I mean, you know, they believe what they believe. They, a lot of them do honestly try to do what they believe is right, what they believe God wants. But the fact is, as you go higher, there's just, there's the organisation, that's it. That's the only thing that matters. It doesn't matter what evidence is there in front of them. The organisation is it, can do no wrong. No, excuses are true, excuses are true, excuses. There's so much dishonesty. I used to think that people who left and spent so much time carrying on about them were just utter nutcases. You know, get over it, build a bridge, get over it. I can understand the anger now. I can understand why they get so worked up. Jehovah's Witnesses are hypocrites. As you go higher up, that most of the people, you know, the frontline people, normal people, you know, they're not bad. But as you go higher up, elders, circuit overseers, district overseers, all that stuff, it becomes more about the organisation, more about the image of Jehovah's Witnesses than it is about the innocent victims. No, I'm definitely an apostate now on their eyes. And I'm going to thrive in it. And when I come across the cards, I will, wherever I am, I will bring it up. Because the last thing they want is people hearing a discussion about the cover up of child abuse, the commission's findings. Because I want to make out like this stuff is actually handled. And it doesn't happen anymore. The cover up doesn't happen anymore. And the fact is, it's still happening. Even after the 2013 commission, it's still happening. They don't give a fuck about the kids, no matter what they claim. Their only interest is in the image of the organisation. And that's a shame, because there's a lot of good people that are being fucked over by the assholes up top. You know, they even deny, you know, when people record these things, they just ignore it. Cognitive dissonance is at its best with these guys. They're as bad with that as the Islamophobes, the homophobes. You know, the friggin' misogynists. They just don't want to hear facts. Because it means that they're going to have to admit that, yeah, they're in the wrong, they fucked up. 
you. You're not God's people. And yeah, the truth has set me free. It really has. And this is why I don't trust men. Why I don't trust organisations in general. It's because in the end it's about them. It's about the image. The people can go fuck themselves. Okay, that's a uh, ten minute rant. So I'll leave it at that. See ya.